Hey guys, welcome back. Well, as I said, I'm upstairs now, so I'm going to show you the orchids we got at the Deep Cut Orchid Show here in New Jersey. Uh, it's sponsored by uh, the Deep Cut Orchid Society of New Jersey. In front of you is the uh, Zygopetalum I picked up at the Orchid Show. After seeing uh, Zygopetalums on two of uh, some of my favorite channels on YouTube, on Plants and Things and on Brad's Greenhouse, I had to have one, and since they're not too difficult to take care of, given the busy situation, um, i got to have one. Plus, I get a kick out of these flowers. It's kind of hard to see me pull this guy out of here, right in the light. But they have beautiful flowers. They're just completely tropical, and the best part is they smell of roses. Come up here in the morning, and this place smells of like, like you have fresh-cut roses. This is our um, other orchid we picked up. Right here, let me get that down. And I've made fun of uh, Brad from Brad's Greenhouse for actually having to say this from the entire video. This is an Oncidium Twinkle. And yes, that is what it's called. Um, I was joking that it should be called an Oncidium Metal Flake so it sounds a little more manly. But... My wife wanted this one, and it has beautiful little flowers, and it too smells really good. It puts off a wonderful scent, and another orchid that's supposedly really easy to take care of and get to rebloom. We have our older Phalaenopsis that's literally crawling out of his pot with his sherbet colored flowers. and big droopy leaves and really long, long roots. He's another candidate we bought pots for at the show because we know once he's done blooming, he needs to be repotted badly. Here's another orchid that I actually bought because it was in a discount bin. It was a $6 orchid. And I just said it was... I just like the lush, you know, bright white flower with that nice yellow lip that's got the speckles to it. And it, was, it wasn't in too bad of a shape, but usually when stores, you know, they don't want, the, they stop blooming or they got an old stock, they want to get rid of them. These little mini fowls are like really, really inexpensive. This is our Dora Tenopsis. This poor guy is just crawling out of his pot. He needs to be repotted. Now I'll probably get to that later, uh, maybe this week. Other than that, we got our just typical orchids up here, growing and growing. It's hard to light quality is really bad for some reason. Paphia, uh, Paphia petalums. This is a. Bella Tulum. This is just a Maudier Alba. This is a, I think it's the Ho Chi Minh. My wife calls it the Pink Fairy Paphia Petalum because the flowers are minor pink fairies. Now, over here, this really bright light is 200 watts of light over this terrarium. Now, normally, I hate to say this, but I don't I don't like the bad mouth uh, companies, but we bought this from uh, Bio Vivara, and when we got it, the first one we got was broken when it was shipped. It took a hell of a long time to get another one of these uh, vivariums, and the one thing they don't come with is a light fixture a light fixture even strong enough to support even highlight growing orchids because we have in there you have a Rhyncalalia, a, a Tolumnia, and an Arrangus biloba and then below it in the darker corner you have a, a Dracula and then a, a Paphia petalum. So I built this weird boxy structure out of some leftover wood and wired in, you know, with a, an extension cord that had a light socket output and a splitter t 
to tie in two 100 watt bulbs to direct the light down here. It almost looks like you're hatching chickens. But, I don't know, this, this product is just... We've had so many problems with it, and I don't know what else to say. If it were up to me, I would have probably went over and just did the old um, giant aquarium, and I would have done it myself. But a mistake, that you learn from your mistakes. And here is just, I, I've turned this terrarium that we used for orchids into a seed starter. Because I had a good, I had them all up here on the windowsill, and it was getting kind of unsightly, so I felt like putting them in here. So you can see in the corner here, these are the datoras, some jalapenos, lettuce, lemon, this big guy in the front, that's a nasturtium, some basil, got papayas in the back that are sprouting, I got an avocado in there, I think those are chilies. These are Chinese elms, and these guys here are scorpion peppers. I'm going to try growing a scorpion pepper just for fun. And my dragon fruit seedlings are still seedling size. You can see there's some tufts of the tops of the cactus coming out, but they're still the same size. And another avocado back there. And that's what's pretty much going on right now. I'll give you guys more of an update as things actually progress and happen. Uh, I hope you guys uh, take care and uh, talk to you later.